hello guys how you doing guys good evening how is your evening wherever you are i hope you, oh my goodness see these birds of mine see how they are misbehaving on my groundnuts guys and yet these young ones can't even manage to eat them by the way unfortunately they just play around it's the big one that can eat it these seeds are still too big for them so guys i'm going to make for you um how do I call them? Ginnut powder, granite powder, or peanut powder, whatever. But I cooked it some time back on the on on this on these videos. Like I recorded when I was cooking it. And if I can remember, I mix it with smoked fish. And then somehow somebody asked me how the the powder is made. So that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. You can see the granites are here. But all I'm doing right now is to wash the mortar and pesto because we use it for pounding it. But because um, my neighbor had actually borrowed the mortar and pounded in some herbs which are really really bitter so if i don't wash it well uh it might end up in the granite so let me first wash this really fast then we get to the business this is just soap so the thing is the mortar and the pesto is used for pounding majorly but we pound in a lot of things like I told you, my neighbor actually used it for some herbs. And right now, again, I'm going to use it for groundnuts. We also use it for sim sim or like it has no one single use. It's just a numerous of them. So let me leave it to dry. actually you know we also eat this thing raw guys hmm? granite or peanut or whatever you want to call it we eat it raw so but right now i'm sorting as you can see what happens is um we always sort out anything which is maybe that that is not genus before we start pounding it guys but wait there's something i wanted to tell you now when you come to any kitchen and you don't get at least genus in any you might get it in peanut form like in a paste form or or even the powder like we are going to do now or i don't know but there must be ginat somewhere around in our traditional kitchen just know that is what i mean when i say that ginat is a master spade for us in the kitchen now you know what i'm talking about guys so we're just going to make it the powder form and i think i cooked it sometime back on the channel and yes somebody actually asked me how to show you guys how the powder was made because i didn't show you how uh, the powder was made all i did was to just start cooking it like that so yeah here we are let's make the powder meanwhile if you didn't watch how the powder is cooked check back on the videos i cooked it sometime back so i think i mixed with smoked fish or something please go back and watch it as well after this one okay <laughs> For me, it's more comfortable while kneeling when I'm pounding. So allow me to get up and kneel. <laughs> so when you're just starting like this, you don't hit it so hard. Otherwise, the genetics will, get, <laughs> will end up jumping out of the motor. You get that's why I'm doing it. Like not so hard, but you're going to realize that later I'm hitting it actually more harder than this, yeah? So guys, for you to make, um, like to maximally um, get your powder out of your groundnuts, you have to make sure that the groundnuts you're actually pounding is very much dry. Otherwise, if it's damp or not properly dry, okay, you won't get enough, like, um, much powder out of it like you would have maybe done if you were using um, dry groundnuts. So mine here is very, very dry, right, guys? So you're going to notice that actually um, what is going to remain afterwards is very little after making the powder.
it. So guys, I think you can notice how it's turning into powder. But then what happens is, um, before you pound it so like, okay, when you see the powder starting to come, you don't have to continue until maybe like you just sieve it once because we're going to pass it through this. Is it called a sieve or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> Please let me know in the comment section. Meanwhile, my breath is actually changing, guys. I've been pounding for long. <laughs> Someone help me with some water. Hmm? <laughs> Now, what I was telling you is, when it starts turning into powder like this, you first pour it into your, I don't know, strainer, whatever, I don't know how to call it, guys. Please help me. And then you, it's just slipped off. And then you shake. So you're going to notice that the powder comes down. Meanwhile, the hard part goes down. Big ones remain on top, guys. Otherwise, you cannot do this just once. So we are going to keep repeating this until the... The big particles are done completely. Because if you want to do a shortcut of just doing it once, you'll end up with something that looks like paste. Not even perfect paste. That's why I said it just looks like paste. <laughs> so guys, I think you can see. So meanwhile, this thing here, um, what I just asked you how to, how it's called in English, this is wood. And then the middle part has some kind of a wire mesh. Like the real tiny um, holes in between allows only this one to pass through. So these hard big ones cannot go through. I'm going to put this one aside and then also see if these ones remain. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Look at this guys. So I'm going to repeat again. So guys, the pounding continues until it's either going to remain very little or even much, depending on how much you're going to continue pounding. So for someone who is lazy, he might end up stopping here. But definitely I'm not that person, so I'm going to continue pounding. <laughs> Otherwise, I hope you notice that our powder is actually coming up. So guys, this sauce here is, first of all, it's very nice. If you had never tried it and maybe you have a way of making this kindly, try it out guys, you're definitely going to like it you can do this with a uh, smoked fish or what some of you call omena that small silver fish that i i think also sometimes i cooked it but i didn't cook with this excuse me you can also cook that in this and it makes a really oh you know finger licking sauce that is what i mean guys so please try it out if you can if you have ever done it let me know how you guys do it in the comments section if you cooked it how did you cook it mm? let me know also how you guys do it guys mm? otherwise for now allow me pound our sauce it's for dinner. Bye-bye.